Today we have a couple different products we're testing. Um, first one we're going to test is a mini biscuit. Um, they are refrigerated, but a little just classic biscuit. Um, you would see, you know, breakfast time or something like that. Um, kind of different variants and textures and everything. Um, as you can see, it's a little, you know, they're not cookie cutter uh, exact every every time. A little different shapes, different textures on top. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick the top. Uh, top halves on a, on a small sample here, and then we'll pick the bottom halves as well as the, the split piece, um, kind of pick from the, the cut as well. Setup we're going to use is a VGS3010 um, with the SI08-3 cartridge. Um, it gives us about 3 CFM of vacuum flow for 1 CFM of uh, 87 PSI going into it. And then the cup we're going to use is a um, detectable FDA uh, direct food contact cup called our, called our FBX35. So it's 35 mil, um, made of food grade silicone, um, and it has double bellow here. A nice thing with this double bellow being smaller in the middle than the outer piece and kind of a thin flexible lip is the compression, um, it's very light force to compress it so you're not damaging the surface of the, um, of the biscuit as you're coming down. Um, whereas a traditional bellow cup might take a little force, um, won't absorb the shock as well um, as, as a cup like this. And the bellow kind of contracts into it, um, giving you some nice stability to the cup as well. Kind of unique features on this cup as well is the, um, the cup has rounded edges on the bellows, um, as well as on the inside of the cup is too. And what that does is it prevents any like hard creases or anything like that for the product to uh, get stuck in. Um, the, the fittings on these are also available in stainless steel or a uh, composite plastic. Um, both are, are acceptable for the FDA. So go ahead and start. Um, I'll just go, go, go down the line, pick these up, um, and go across and see how well this performs. Good shake there. I'm just going to pick the cut part right here while I have it open. Again, a great strong, great strong hold. And now we'll pick the bottom surfaces. So overall, uh, great performance. Uh, able to pick those biscuits pretty well. Um, something I might recommend for a setup like this, since there are crumbs occasionally on this, is put a filter between the uh, the cup and the pump, um, whether it be this pump or one of similar flow. And what that'll allow you to do is keep the particulates out of the pump, um, and then also initiate a blow off. So at the end of every cycle, when you're dropping the the, the biscuits, um, to to blow off any crumbs or dust or anything out of it. Um, before you go and, and pick up, that'll keep the keep the generator and the filter clean. Good good practices for uh, good best practice for vacuum applications. So the next product we hear is a, uh, a mini like hamburger bun, almost like a slider bun. Um, pretty hard um, surface or pretty pretty firm. And then the bottom bottom of the bun here, some of them have some irregularities with pockets in them, and then a pretty smooth surface on the cut, um, some regular pockets in there as well. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the biscuits, uh, use the same, same pump and generator, um, pick up the tops and the bottoms, and see how well it's going. Yeah, that's a real strong hold, um, even better than the biscuits were. So right there, uh, great performance, and you can see there's there's no damage to the buns at all either. Um, so this setup here with the VGS, um, as well as this, this FBX cup, um, specifically this cup and a generator, may not have to be this one, but one of similar flow um, would be ideal for this situation. 